Uh, hello, everyone. Um, <clears throat> we're starting our new webinar of uh, 2019. Uh, this particular webinar will be <clears throat> devoted to our acoustic water leak detectors in general. But I will be able to answer all your questions uh, about our <clears throat> other our equipment after after this uh, event. So first, uh, I would like to know uh, if you can uh, hear me well. Uh, that is why I'm asking you to send a plus in the chat. So I I I knew that uh, I you hear me and that I don't need to repeat anything. So please uh, send me uh, a plus uh, sign into, into this chat box. Okay. So I, I see familiar, familiar names here. I'm glad to see everyone from every country and uh, from any, any kind of business. <clears throat> which you are representing here. Uh, it, it is my big pleasure that you all gathered here. Uh, so uh, I think that uh, I will give some uh, introduction information. And uh, alongside with this information, we will wait for the rest of the participants to gather here in this uh, for this webinar and then we will move uh, to the equipment first of all i would like to give you the general information about our company our company is called uh, techno ac generally it's not a single company it's a group of companies uh, and all all these companies together are doing uh, several several jobs First one, uh, we develop, produce, and uh, supply our own uh, developed um, cable and pipe locating equipment. So this is our domestic uh, domestic development. Uh, this is a unique uh, Russian equipment. Of course, uh, there are several other other uh, brands of uh, cable and pipe locators in Russia. But our equipment is unique because it was um, developed by ex-military engineers and uh, now uh, it is supplied worldwide. So the first uh, sphere of our interest is uh, cable and pipe locating equipment. Uh, now we are supplying, I will briefly tell you that now we are supplying the GPS uh, locators which allow you to measure the depth of uh, the located uh, utility and also uh, save the GPS coordinates for further use. This is our, one of our main spheres of, uh, of work. As you can see, uh, we also build test vans. Uh, we also produce some equipment for high voltage electrotechnical laboratories. We install this equipment uh, on any uh, van or vehicle. Uh, generally, uh, we have clients in Russia who purchase their own vehicles, like for transit or some other uh, convertible or heavy truck. And uh, we design the internal uh, equipment for high voltage testing in this particular device. So we have a group of engineers who, who are working uh, in this particular sphere. And I must say that they are working pretty successfully uh, because we managed to supply uh, several of these events to major companies in Russia. So uh, the request, the demand on, on such equipment is pretty high in Russia. And as far as we know, it is also pretty high worldwide. So some countries uh, use uh, these labs pretty much. And the last uh, but not least uh, sphere of our interest is water leak detection equipment. 
this is the kind of equipment we also produce develop and supply uh, on our own i mean uh, generally in russia but uh since uh, last five to six years we are exporting exporting our equipment uh, worldwide that means that uh, we are looking for some new uh, resellers dealers and that that uh, we are also uh, looking for clients uh, around uh, the globe so generally our company exists for like 26 years by now and uh, we have a pretty strong uh, base for development research and production we are not uh, some kind of a big uh, corporation uh, all our company staff uh, equals to 150 per people uh, these people do a lot of work for development for research for production and uh, for uh, education um, so uh, that is why uh, we are proud enough to tell that uh, we do everything by ourselves and uh, the rest <laughs> uh, the rest the remaining job is to our dealers so they just need to promote this equipment and supply it to their clients as you can see on this slide uh, we are currently on uh, you can see a picture a photo of our head of techno ac group uh, mr sergey sergey he is a famous russian inventor he invented uh, almost all our equipment and uh, of course he has uh, patents on all all this equipment so all the equipment is unique and patented so i i guess i guess uh, all of us almost gathered uh, so i i think that i should uh, move on to the main topic of our meeting today and uh, this is gonna be the acoustic uh, water leak detectors let's move to another picture so basically uh, we produce uh, one model of uh, acoustic water leak detector and uh, it 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 uh, all one model but several sets and uh, all equipment is based on one receiver this receiver is ap027 this is a multifunctional digital receiver which can process the signal from acoustic sensor electromagnetic sensor uh, portable acoustic sensor and uh, several sensors for cable insulation damage inspection so this is a pretty multifunctional device but generally uh, we supply it as water leak detector what uh, what uh, this device can do it can uh, detect the signal it can uh, cut off the unnecessary noise in the in the when you're working in the field generally and it also can store several measurements for your convenience uh, for further uh, in, uh, inspection. I will show you each, each function one by one uh, and uh, you will be able to ask me some questions uh, if you have some. And uh, I will show you uh, the specifications of, of this device. So these are the specifications of uh, the receiver for uh, for uh, acoustic water leak detection generally uh, we will go from the bottom to top you can see that in the bottom that it, it is pretty light it's almost half uh, of kilogram it's pretty light and uh, it is pretty small so you can operate it with one hand uh, there is one more important thing that it is IP54 protected and it can operate in the temperature range uh, starting from minus 20 up to plus 50 degrees celsius it means that uh, it doesn't matter generally in which conditions you operate uh, this device as soon as you don't put it directly into the water uh, it will work fine 
And uh, this uh, device has another unique feature. Uh, I guess uh, that not every device has it. Uh, this is the operation time. This time is 20 hours. This device uh, utilizes, as far as I remember, four AA batteries, and they allow uh, the they allow this device to operate up to 20 hours. I think this is a pretty good result because generally for other uh, brand locators and uh, detectors, uh, this, this uh, value is almost uh, unreachable. So this is a pretty good uh, result. And uh, also uh, basic, basic water leak detector has headphones and uh, several types of selected signal. I will tell you about this later. And in the upper part of the slide, you can see the general technical information. I must say that uh, uh, this, uh, this specifications are generally up to date to a modern uh, requirement of acoustic water leak detectors. Uh, in, some, in some parts, they, they are even better. But generally, they are on a good uh, same level as as uh, the best uh, worldwide uh, vendors uh, models. So we also have in this device liquid crystal display, animated moving scale of output signal level. I will tell you about it later. Also digital value uh, representation of the signal, graph representation of the signal. And uh, several other um, representations of signal which are kept in memory uh, section. First of all, uh, you see that basically any, any water leak detector is composed of uh, three elements. It's uh, the receiver. I will mark it here. So, sorry, doing it slightly inaccurately uh, the sensor and the headphones you can see on this picture a person who is operating the acoustic water leak detector and he has all these necessary elements so generally uh, you have uh, the microphone which is the sensor and uh, the headphones this is what you basically need to locate the leakage but sometimes, especially in overpopulated countries, uh, there are a lot of surrounding noise. Cars, people talking, uh, phones ringing, everything. And uh, if you have a direct connection with a microphone to headphones, you won't be able to hear the sound of running water from your pipe. So uh, that is why uh, our AP027 receiver has uh, several modes of uh, indication. You can see uh, this one is a uh, scale uh, mode of representation. You can see that uh, you, you may apply uh, certain filters. You may control your volume, uh, amplification, and gain. Uh, you need all these parameters, uh, settings, for cutting off the unnecessary noise. You see, generally, the routine of uh, water leak detection starts with location of the pipe. First, you locate the pipe, then you try to locate uh, with acoustic sensor the sound of running water. Uh, and, <coughs> sorry. And this water should run through a pipe, and you should be able to hear it. After that, you look at the scale and you see that the scale of signal is composed of two elements, black and white, for example, like uh, on this screenshot. And the black one is uh, supposed to be the positive signal, like uh, the constant noise of running water. So it will be always full and it will always have approximately the same level and white scale uh, indicates the 
unnecessary noise. I mean cars, phones, people talking, etc. And our main goal uh, during location of the leakage is to make the device uh, hear only this one, only this kind of sound, the sound of running water. And we do it by applying certain filters. So we cut off from each side one by one until uh, we see the, mo uh, the most part of the scale being black. That is why we, that is how we locate the positive signal. And then after that, we go alongside the pipe uh, step by step, uh, just checking the signal. And the spot with maximum signal will be the spot with uh, the leakage. This is basically the main routine of location of leakages. It's pretty easy to do, actually. But uh, there are some different situations when you need to inspect um, the pipe somehow differently. For example, we have a real-time graph window. Uh, this is the part where the signal is indicated in real, uh, real time. Generally, this is used uh, this mode is used for cable location but it, it also can be used for pipe location uh, that's not uh, not big deal it's it's the matter of convenience some people prefer to work in graph mode but generally we propose to work in scale mode or in spectrum mode so that is why i'm going to tell you about the spectrum mode the spectrum mode is a pretty convenient thing it indicates uh, the whole selected spectrum. And it has the same indication of the signal. White bars representing bad signal, black bars uh, representing good signal. And moreover, this all scale of uh, frequencies is uh, equal to this scale up here. So as soon as you see that you, you have this signal here, you can cut off all the signal by filters and you will be able to hear only the positive signal here that is why general routine of uh, water leak detection composed of the following steps first step is spectrum window in broadband mode it means that you don't apply any filters in this mode after that you apply certain filters like here and then you go to step two, uh, the scale mode. You already have your filters applied. And you just can carry on uh, locating the leakage until you will, you will be able to find the signal with maximum uh, value. That is how it's done. Um, also, uh, you may not uh, remember uh, what signals did you have on previous spots. That is why we have a memory window. You see that each bar of this graph uh, represents one measured spot. These values are not stored in the memory of device when you turn it off because uh, after one measurement, they become unnecessary because each measurement contains its own unique uh, signal level. That is why uh, one measurement of one pipe can be stored in the memory and it can help you indicate the leakage. We see that here we have the maximum bar which indicates 89 uh, value of uh, the signal. It means that generally you, uh, you've already passed over your uh, leakage. So you have to return back to the spot where you had 89 uh, plus minus one two uh, value of maximum signal and this will be the spot of uh, your uh, leakage so that's that's basically how how it is done let us move back to to the set of uh, acoustic water leak detector and i will tell you what's uh, what's supplied in there First, uh, this is the most basic uh, acoustic water leak detector we supply. It is called uh, Success AT407N. And as I told you earlier, it is complied uh, of uh, 
receiver, sensor, and headphones. So this is basically all you need to locate the leakage from the pipe uh, up to depth, uh, on the depth up to six meters or inside the building. So uh, you can you can locate the leakages on the paved surfaces, on soft surfaces, as you can see on the picture here. We also supply our acoustic sensor with the set of uh, accessories which allow you to use uh, the acoustic sensor uh, on soft types of soil, for example, on the sand or on a soft ground. It can be useful because uh, these uh, accessories amplify the signal which you get from the pipe and from the leakage. And it is pretty convenient. And every, every set of our uh, water leak detector contains these accessories uh, because they are considered to be the most necessary for uh, successful uh, leak detection. Also, uh, I would like to notify uh, you that um, every, every equipment we supply abroad from Russia is uh, having a uh, user manual in English and uh, english passport for this device so as soon as you uh, supplying this device to your client or purchasing it for your own purposes you will be able to study user manual in english by yourself and also we have uh, several youtube videos of, of how to operate this device uh, they're also translated in English, so you won't be having any problem with uh, this device until you have our full support. About our support, I will tell you a bit later uh, in the end of this presentation. And uh, now we will move uh, to the next uh, slide. This slide is also devoted to the AT407N water leak detector. It just shows you uh, the set of uh, accessories for acoustic uh, sensor and generally describes uh, the features which uh, this device has. Generally, I told you about all these features and here uh, you can see uh, the set what's uh, included in the basic supply of uh, this uh, water leak detector. Uh, I should remind you that uh, this equipment is considered to be basic water leak detector uh, set. So it contains only the acoustic water leak detector and everything what's uh, necessary for this job. Uh, so I think we, we can move on to another slide. And uh, here um, we are coming to the interesting part. Uh, we are now discussing the, um, the sets which are available with water leak detector. And the first set is Success ATP434N. This is uh, almost the same uh, set as the previous one, but it contains the electromagnetic sensor. Sometimes uh, when you are trying to locate the leakage and you already located it, you may come across a 50 hertz electrical cable. In some countries it's 60 hertz, in some countries it's 100 hertz, so generally it is a power cable and it can be uh, buried not far from uh, your pipe and it can cross over the pipe and when you will be digging out your leakage you may damage some other other person's cable and it can be a live cable and it can cause uh, the financial problems the health problems and uh, any any kind of problems you can cake came across while damaging some other person's cable and that is why we supply we have a separate set for location of power electric cable which allows you to exclude this uh, scenario from your general uh, water leak detection routine uh, so what what uh, can you do before digging out your leakage and repairing it first you locate uh, the leakage uh, in the way I told you earlier. And after that, you just switch uh, the receiver. You, uh, you 
disconnect the acoustic uh, sensor and connect uh, the electromagnetic sensor. And after that, you can start tracing the signal, the electromagnetic sensor, uh, signal, sorry, uh, from uh, the power cable, because uh, buried power cable always uh, induces some signal which can be detected by electromagnetic sensor. This set is slightly more expensive than the previous one because it has one additional accessory, but generally it is still affordable and uh, it is pretty pretty useful in, in some, not in all, but in some uh, scenarios it can be used pretty well. Now we are moving to our most balanced set uh, in our range of water leak detectors, and it is called Success AG435.15N. Now, uh, comparing to two previous sets, we, we've added here an AG10520 watt transmitter. So now you can uh, locate not only the power cables around uh, your pipe, or you also can locate the pipe itself. Now, sometimes when you are visiting your customer and he's saying that he uh, has uh, some problems in his pipes and the water is uh, running out, but he doesn't know where the, this pipe is, he just can see only the water loss or the leakage loss on his uh, gauges and he needs your help or assistance or your client needs the device that can locate the pipe and then locate the leakage this is it so as soon as your client has a metal pipe buried on he in the area and this pipe has some leakages uh, running through it you can locate uh, the pipe first and then locate the leakage uh, you have to connect uh, the transmitter to your pipe or just induce the signal with built-in antenna of transmitter, so you don't need to connect anything. After that, you switch to electromagnetic sensor, uh, locate the signal induced by transmitter on your pipe. You know the orientation of the pipe, the position. You may also try to find some uh, turnarounds or some uh, unwanted connections if they are made of metal and if they're uh, are they conducting some uh, electric current. And after that, uh, you will be able to know uh, how how your pipe is going through going underground, and you will be able to trace it without moving to any other any other position so it, it is very convenient uh, as soon as you are working with metal pipe and also you will be able to find uh, the cables not only the power cables which are carrying any current or uh, having any any voltage in them but you will be also to locate the cables which uh, are currently dead or they are just disconnected or they are just lost cables and that is how you can do that and uh, prevent uh, your company your business from losing money and from damaging other company cables uh, we know that uh, everyone uh, generally should indicate on the maps or on its internal GIS software where the cable is, where the pipe is, or they must have some drawings which uh, are saying where the cable or the pipe is laying. But uh, in in the field, in, uh, in the practice, uh, our experience says that it is almost impossible to locate these drawings and uh, to not not every uh, company allows uh, an authorized access to these drawings to this GIS software. That is why uh, this uh, set Success AG four three five point fifteen N is a great help because you don't need uh, to to know the exact position of the pipe or of the leakage you can locate it by yourself and see and inspect it by yourself without waiting for a long procedure of uh, gaining the access to the uh, authorized documents 
Generally, uh, this uh, set allows you to trace the pipes up to three kilometers. It may not be very necessary in the terms of water leak detection because usually um, people uh, locate the leakages on a smaller um, distances of pipes, but uh, it is good to have some, uh, some extra distance for tracing, uh, even especially if you're locating the metal pipe. Uh, because uh, there are some uh, cases when you have multiple leakages and you have to trace all the pipe all, all the way to locate its position and trace uh, the signal to locate the leakages sorry so uh, this is uh, I would like to highlight this moment that this is the most balanced uh, solution it's the most multifunctional and uh, universal for water leak detection because you just don't just locate the leakages you also locate the pipes where these leakages are happening and this is very important okay now we move to our most ultimate set of equipment and uh, it is success tpt 522n generally uh the unique feature of uh, this set alongside with location of leakages and location of metal utilities underground the main uh, distinctive feature of this set is uh, the location of uh, plastic pipes pvc pipes you can see that alongside with the uh, receiver, transmitter, and a uh, couple of sensors, you can see the more powerful transmitter and the impact device. I would like to tell you more about this because it is kind of a unique feature. But first, I would, I would like to finish with the transmitter. And then I will move on to, the, uh, to this uh, accessory. Uh, you see, uh, this set is supplied with AG144 transmitter. It means that this is a more powerful solution for location of cables and pipes. Generally, this transmitter has 170 watts of power. It means that you can go up to 5 kilometers in uh, average but you can go up to 10 and more kilometers if, if uh, it is necessary for you. Generally, mm, uh, generally uh, um, this, uh, this transmitter is used for intercity or inter-district uh, power and cable lines, uh, which require a long distance tracing. But, uh, in, in our case, it is used to power up the impact device for PVC pipe location. So let's move to this uh, accessory. As you can see here, you may install uh, the impact device on the visible part of uh, your pipe. It can be metal pipe, uh, PVC pipe, asbestos pipe, any, any kind of pipe that, uh, that can uh, transduce acoustic signal. Then you connect it to your transmitter and set uh, the type, uh, the, the frequency of the smashes, which this impact device will be impacting on the pipe. Generally, this thing operates as a hammer, but uh, you can't, um, um, you can't uh, smash the hammer with uh, equal time intervals. That is why and you also can damage the pipe while using the hammer. This uh, device I'm talking about now, uh, it solves both of these problems. First, it doesn't damage the pipe. Even if you pick the most uh, frequent, uh, frequent frequency of uh, the impacts, it won't damage the pipe. And secondly, uh, each uh, selected frequency has equal intervals. It will help you to distinct this signal from uh, any other uh, unnecessary noise. 
You see, uh, when operating this device, you will be able to see on the screen of your receiver the constant uh, impact signal, like uh, there will be bars uh, going one by one with equal intervals. It means that you are standing above your pipe position, your PVC pipe. And as soon as you are moving alongside and hearing, uh, hearing, I mean, with the sensor, hearing the signal, it means that you are tracing the pipe, the, the plastic pipe, and you will be able to know where it is going and uh, how long it is going. Generally, uh, this uh, device allows you to trace um, the plastic pipe for something like 150 meters. But there are a lot of conditions involved. For example, the, the kind of soil, if it is sand, uh, a sandy soil, the distance of tracing significantly decreases because the acoustic signal coming through the pipe is going to the sand and uh, you just can't trace it for a long uh, for a long period of time but generally in uh, uh, general type of soil um, dry uh, earth earth type of soil or on the concrete uh, pavement you can you can use this device and trace the the uh, pipe as long as it is, as it is necessary uh, so generally this device does three things uh, which I told you about earlier it's water leak detection first one cable pipe uh, cable and pipe location so it's like a locator and non-metal pipe location so uh, the third one is unique and not every every company has it and that is why we are proud that we're having such uh, set in our range and I must say that it is the most ultimate solution for working with water leakages because uh, you will be able to trace any pipe before inspecting it. You will be able to trace uh, the leakage acoustically and you will also be able to trace any cable uh, which can be laying above or across uh, your supposed spot of leakage. So this is kind of a ultimate solution for this kind of of uh, work and that is uh, generally very good and uh, before going to the last part of uh, our discussion regarding these water leak detectors uh, I will try to answer your questions and uh, Mr. Uh, Biletti is asking uh, how the transmitter is charged from the power mains uh, each transmitter uh, we're having in our range uh, has uh, an accessory for external power supply. Uh, actually, there are two accessories for that. First one is uh, for the connection of uh, the transmitter to the vehicle accumulator, 12 volts accumulator. So you can power this thing uh, from the accumulator. And another one uh, is used for powering the transmitter from the power mains, which you can find in any in any uh, building. But if uh, you, uh, if uh, you are using uh, the accumulators, which we also can supply, you will be having a charger. Uh, we were using type C batteries in our accumulator in our transmitter. Sorry, uh, the 20 watt transmitter uses eight type C batteries, and bigger one has two built in um, accumulators, and it is also uh, supplied with, uh, with the charger. So, uh, you won't be having any problems with uh, charging these devices as soon as you have a power main somewhere uh, nearby. Atul Bosale, <laughs> nice to see you on our webinar. Uh, we met in personal. That is why it's a separate pleasure for me uh, to, to see you here. Uh, what is the max distance we can detect the PVC pipe? You see, uh, some time ago, we generally stated that it can be up to 200 meters. 
and this is the real uh, the real distance we could achieve here in Russia but uh, the conditions of every country and of, of every soil and of every particular area uh, may limit this digit up to 10 meters actually even because uh, as I told you earlier if you are working on the sand the sand makes your signal weaker significantly significantly weaker that is why uh, we are not stating that uh, you can uh, definitely reach 200 or 150 meters but uh, we state that it's quite an achievable uh, achievable uh, distance if you are doing everything right um, Uh, is it also identify the leakage of power cable? If you mean uh, the insulation damage, yes, you can. You can use the high voltage pulse transmitter. You can connect it to your cable and uh, you can inspect uh, acoustically uh, the signal of this dis discharge. Uh, we will talk about it on our next webinar we will be having and it will be about cable and pipe locators uh, that's that's uh, why uh, you you may come and ask uh, same reply to mr bosale uh, we will be having uh, this the webinar about cable location and uh, i will explain uh, in details how it is done how it can be done and uh, you will be able to see everything in personal um then uh, can we detect leakages from above ground insulated pipes uh there is one one thing i must state um, uh, you see uh this device uh lo locates the noise of running water from the pipe so as soon as your pipe is having two bar at least two bar pressure you will be able to detect it but uh, if it is above ground insulated pipe I guess uh, you won't be able to hear any noise from um, from the water running through it, uh, or or if it if it will have uh, enough pressure, you won't need to use the water leak detector. You will be able to see everything with your own eyes. That is why generally we propose uh, these uh, water leak detectors for for uh, uh, underground or buried utilities. Oh, I'm having so many questions. Just give me give me a second, please. Uh, the leakage of power cable above pipes. What is the sensitivity of equipment? This is a good question. Um, the sensitivity range of this equipment, I will show you. Give me a second, please. Uh, is uh, described here so you see that uh, these are the frequencies that, which are supported by the receiver this is the frequencies of broadband mode with no filters applied and this is the gain factor actually if you're having uh, if you're having uh, uh, low noise of the equipment you can amplify it you have certain uh, certain settings which you can input uh, by using the receiver and you can amplify the signal which you are gaining from uh, from the pipe so you have all, all you have 120 dbs to amplify the signal and uh, generally if you have a low pressure or low pressure leakage of water from the pipe you you will be able to amplify it to hear it with your own with your own ears. Uh -huh. uh, how long does a faulty charge fully charged transmitter take to discharge when working continuously for a recharge? Uh, it depends on several factors, but you can uh, you can input uh, the settings for power saving mode. And in power saving mode, uh, up to 12 hours uh, are pretty achievable. Generally, uh, it is nine to 10 hours in a continuous mode of operation.
pipe is running along the wall in the building. I guess uh, this is the comment to your previous uh, question. Uh, generally, the uh, the answer remains the same. As soon as this pipe is carrying uh, enough um, pressure and as soon as it is visible, you will be able to hear and see uh, the voltage by, by by yourself without any equipment. And the voltage, sorry, the leakage. The leakage, of course, it's the leakage. By yourself without uh, using any additional equipment. As we are aware that there are multiple lines of water, so how should we be able to detect the exact hour line leakage? This is the question from Nilesh Rathod. I also met him in person. I'm very glad to, to see you here, Nilesh. Um, generally, uh, you can use uh, one of those sets I told you earlier, uh, which can be used for location of the pipe. So first, you locate the pipes. Uh, then you locate uh, the leakages. You have, you may connect uh, certain sensors. We have a set of accessories for pipe location, which can uh, help you to locate your own uh, pipe, which is carrying some leakage also. And you will be able to to tell uh, which is where. I I propose you to visit our. Uh, cable and pipe location webinar which will be in a couple of weeks and uh, we will be able to to discuss this uh, matter there because i have a separate uh, presentation for this uh, for this equipment and i will be able to tell you about it uh, as much as possible as more as possible okay uh, So uh, I will be concluding my uh, speech now. Uh, so if you are having still having several questions, I uh, will be able to answer them in the end of uh, this uh, meeting. So what uh, I would like to state here. Uh, we're supplying our equipment worldwide. Uh, we are working with UPS, um, DHL and other international uh, delivery companies. That is why we have pretty good experience of importing the equipment to several countries. You can see the list of the countries we are constantly working with uh, on your screen. And uh, we have uh, more countries uh, of supplies uh, with the single supplies, uh, not multiple, but single supplies of our equipment. We provide uh, 24 by 7 uh, technical support. Personally, I work in WhatsApp and I'm receiving all the technical messages uh, which are uh, considered, uh, which are required, requested by you. Uh, if you need any help with our equipment, you can contact me on WhatsApp. You can find my uh, contact information on the website, technoac.com. And uh, you will be able to ask me any technical question anytime. And as soon as I am online, I will be able to help you. Uh, this uh, works for every client and uh, of... Uh, for every dealer we're having in, in, in every uh, uh, country. Um, generally, we also uh, uh, have a special, special uh, terms for international dealers. It means that uh, the dealer price differs from um, recommended retail price. And uh, you also will be able to get all our support uh, in uh, in uh, in uh, printed materials, in online training, in offline training. Generally, um, we visit uh, several uh, some countries uh, where we have dealers and do the education training of uh, the staff we do the, uh, the uh, training in sales and in um, usage of our equipment we do it generally completely for free so we can come to your country and train you 
as soon as you are interested in purchasing and promoting of our equipment. And also, uh, as I told you earlier, we have uh, 24 hours uh, technical support. So uh, we can reply to any of your technical question and all the all the questions you're having, you can send to my electronic, to my email. This is my personal email and the other two emails are the emails of my colleagues. You can also uh, send your request to them, but uh, generally if you prefer some technical support or price quotation, or uh, any information about our equipment, you can contact me. I will give you my WhatsApp number, I will give you all necessary information and will be able to send you any material you request and any information you need me to provide. Uh, okay, we have two more messages and not a question, but a comment. I bought two sets from my personal use uh, as a consultant, but when clients saw them, they uh, bought both so I may soon come for more that's that's a very good uh, news I hope uh, that uh, we will get some news from you soon and we get some uh, re incoming requests from you uh, as soon as you need any assistance uh, you can con contact me and we will be able to uh, process your request uh, do you have questionnaire form to be filled in for proper selection of product? Actually, yes. Uh, on our website, we have uh, a filter uh, and uh, it allows you to select the equipment. Uh, just give me a second. I will ask my, uh, uh, my uh, team to show you our website. Can we show our website? Или... Кстати, экран есть. Как не будет. Вот, наверное, рабочий стол. Вот общий это, доступ да? к рабочему да, вот, Общий доступ к рабочему столу. Окей. Да. Okay. Uh, I will, I will try to show you. Показать рабочий стол впервые загрузить. Да, вот этот. Может какой-то плагин? Нет. Ну вот он скачал плагин. Нет, это приложение для. I guess, I guess I won't be able to show you our website by now, but Trust me, uh, we're we're having a, um, how can I say the filter where you can select uh, the equipment according to your requests. So you can select the type of located utility or whether you're locating the leakage. Generally, yes, we have that. So uh, if you like, you can contact me, and I will give you the link. Uh, and uh, the screenshot, so you will be able to find uh, everything you need just there. Mm -hmm. So I, I see that uh, someone, someone is having uh, any other questions. So uh, I, I'm, I'm here. Uh, as soon as you need me, uh, I will be able to answer all your questions. I guess that uh, five minutes more, uh, I will be online. And um, yes, uh, another thing I would like to tell you, I would like to again invite you to our webinar uh, about, about uh, our cable and pipe locators. Uh, that is why uh, I'm asking you to stay tuned because we will be making uh, a new um, mass mail uh, delivery where uh, which will be containing the the link for registration for the webinar. So don't forget to check your mailboxes and don't forget to check uh, the spam uh, uh, spam. Uh, folder because uh, as soon as we are sending our messages from Russia they may go to your spam folder and you you may not be able to see them so please also uh, add our email to trusted and check uh, spam folder from time to time okay uh, mr Padotekar uh, having, is having technical request. Yes, please send me an email and we will be able to help you directly. 
Thank you very much, Mr. Rathod, and thank you very much. Uh, thanks to everyone who visited us today. Uh, it's been a great pleasure to see you uh, here. I hope uh, that you have some questions left uh, because uh, generally it is not possible to, to study this equipment just by looking at the presentation. Uh, that's why uh, I'm waiting for your, uh, for your requests and emails and thank you for your attention and see you on our next webinar. Thank you very much. Bye.